Listen carefully. This is a true story. Here is a lovely little family. The child and her two parents. And what a musical family it was indeed. Both parents were so keen on their daughter's education that they sent her to music lessons every week. How lovely. The stage and theater is an opportunity to shed light on, on issues that we as a society and we as individuals maybe prefer to keep them out. Um, um, but that's exactly why we have to discuss them. So this project talks about sexual abuse, sexual child abuse, silencing of the society around it, um, silencing inside the family. But how, how, how can we talk about this in this interdisciplinary form? And actually, I think that the form of puppetry and, and um, the interaction with, with music is ideal because some things need words and some things need um, visuals and music and uh, poetic images that unravel. It was. Well, the, the genesis of the visual language was uh, the puppet that, is, um, that I made many, many years ago. And I made it not really knowing what it would be for, and then it was born into this story. And it was very much inspired by uh, classical music instruments. Um, it's made out of um, uh, wood, papier-mâché. It's made out of broken violin, cello, viola pieces. Um, and then when we came to do this work together, we said, OK, for the, for the other chapters that we know nothing about, only that they are the aftermath of violence, um, that was kind of our inspiration. So the, the face. She had been to their home many times. A friend of the family, one might say. And so, as seemed expected, she opened her case and showed him. Beautiful, he said. With a this is our first collaboration ever, and we're creating a musical, theatrical performance uh, called Silence Makes Perfect. I guess we came with, with, a, with one part that was more made and then two other parts of the performance because there are three chapters that we knew very little about. We wanted to keep everything in the dark and to create while being here. I mean, we really liked that the idea of the of this residency is to create something here for real, not only practice what we know. She has such a creative imagination. Listen! It was then that I noticed there was a man standing there. I think it's an invitation for a journey, always. And, um, and since you know, I think uh, there might be 150 people watching this performance now, and so there will probably be at least 150 uh, narratives, you know, that people have in their mind. And there are so many things I can show you, teach you. Very good. Now I guess it's kind of a game changer for us, because what we really needed was some uh, remote place <laughs> where with no distractions um, but with facilities that basically we couldn't dream of having back home um, um, to, to let this creature grow. We just found this place completely out of this world. We've never, um, never seen anything like it. <laughs> 